the uh, president has accepted the election commission's recommendation to disqualify 20 lawmakers of Delhi's AAP in the Office of Profit case. So, Neetha Chaudhary, first and foremost, can you confirm this? That's right. Uh, we can confirm this because the notification from the law ministry is out. The notification comes in from the law ministry just after the president uh, endorses the recommendation of the election commission. Now, uh, we've spoken to experts and they say the president didn't have much uh, wriggle room in this. He's bound because the election commission is a constitutional body. And when the election commission on Friday recommended it, the president, Ramnath Kovin, was actually bound by uh, the rules to actually endorse this. What, of course, happened after that is that today the notification has come out and now those 20 MLAs are completely disqualified, which means it's now over to the courts. Remember, uh, AAP itself endorsed, uh, went to High Court on Friday itself, and now we are waiting for High Court to hear this petition against the disqualification AAP has made its position very clear. They say it's completely unconstitutional because they say that their uh, MLAs, there are various grounds that they give for this. One, uh, the MLAs haven't been heard at all. The Election Commission made this judgment and gave out this decision without hearing them. Second, they say, what is the Office of Profit by itself, by its very definition? Because these parliamentary secretaries, which is what is said to be that they were holding dual positions, that they were MLAs and they were parliamentary secretaries. However, they say that they were appointed as parliamentary secretaries without even having any kind of remuneration. There was no salary, there was no official bungalow. So why is it called an office of profit? That's the second point they make. They also point out that when the lieutenant governor refused to sign their appointment, well, they were never made parliamentary secretaries in the first place. So why are they being disqualified for holding an office of position, something they weren't even allowed to take? So these are the various positions they point out. However, the other side points out that this was a petition that was moved by uh, a lawyer over here. Also, the Congress completely supports it. So the opposition on this issue, Sarah, for now, the opposition had completely been united on this on, on this issue. You see a clear split. Uh, you have the Amadi Party and the Congress, which has been working together on various issues, whether it is the election, presidential elections. On this particular issue, the opposition seems to be split because the Congress came out with this position and said that Arvind K. Jival should resign after this and we should have midterm polls. But before the issue of midterm polls, now it's up to the courts, the high court, to decide whether the disqualification of these 20 up MLAs, whether it's legit. And if the high court accords it, that means that we are going to see a significant bipolar taking place of 20 seats in Delhi. Remember, when the Delhi election, Arvind Kejriwal's election took place, it was an extraordinary election where we saw not just a sweep, it was 67 of 70 seats going to the Ahmadi party. That is now considerably reduced with these 20 MLAs going. We've seen in previous some uh, bipoles taking place, for example, Jarnail Singh's bipoles, that the AAP didn't do so well. The AAP lost that particular seat. Even of Rajori Gardner, it lost that particular seat to the BJP. So this 20 election that takes place will be a huge referendum on which way things are going before 2019. So politically, very, very significant. But for now... One, one doesn't need to worry about the polls so much. It's more looking at the courts and seeing how this play out, plays out in the courtroom. All right, Sunetha so Chaudhary uh, reporting from the Capitol. Thank you for that. We're also getting reactions from uh, the Congress and the BJP. The party is called the Aam Admi Party. What can be the greatest part of the party of the Aam Admi Party? They have given their 21 members to the Aam Admi Party, which they have got in the office, which they have got in the car, which they have got in the car, which they have got in the furniture, which they have got in the car, 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 यहां तक के कुछ एमएलए और पार्लियामेंट्री सेक्रेटरीज के पानी और बिजली का बिल सरकार देती रही यहां तक के कुछ पार्लियामेंट्री सेक्रेटरीज को कन्वेंस अलाउंस जो है अटेंड करने के लिए एज पार्लियामेंट्री सेक्रेटरी सरकार ने दिया इससे बड़ा करप्शन क्या हो सकता है कि सात की जगह 28 एक तरीके से मिनिस्टर्स केजरीवाल साहब ने अपनी पार्टी के अंदर बना दिए तो यह एक करप्शन का नमूना था जिसको लेकर के हम लोग इलेक्शन कमीशन में गए